prophetess. Have you found the missing pieces? Good. According to Kurmai, your journey will last two days. According to the Starling writings, this is where the ancient fathers kept all their knowledge. Ah, and you will not be traveling on your own. The mercenaries, Sakaresh, Magistra Yaela, and her adjutant will accompany you. I expect you to be back at the temple in one week, with knowledge about the Numinas. They will be there when the ship leaves. Before you go, however, I suggest you return to Ark to properly equip yourself. I just don't see the fucking point. their way back, the others will be able to steer the ship without you, correct? Yes. They won't be steering anything, to be precise. Because Gertrude flies on her own as soon as the coordinates have been set. He thanks you, Tealor Aranthiel. Any other Grand Master would have laughed at him, but you have listened instead. Now he will be the first of his people to meet the Ancient Fathers. It... it is hard to believe that. Walk blessed, and all the best for your fight. Thank you. The others are expecting you. Ah, and there's one more thing. This amulet belonged to my son. I want you to have it. Wear it or not, the choice is yours. Now leave. And do not disappoint me. Hmm? The last passenger has arrived. That is a pleasure. Welcome aboard. How are things going? Well then. All aboard! Then raise the ramp! She's taking off! And there we go. Good. Very good. It's a crazy world, isn't it? We're on our way to a forgotten city in the clouds, and I'm part of it. <sighs> but anyway, it's good that you're here. I wanted to talk to you. Do you have a second? <laughs> you have a point there. I... how should I put it? I wanted to thank you. I'm not sure if you know it, but... 
All that's happened since I plucked you out of that thicket on the Sun Coast, it did something to me. I think I've understood something, as corny as it may sound. <sighs> it's hard to put into words. You know, I, I still believe what I told you that time we met at the Dancing Nomad. That we all act as we do because we hope it makes us happy. But somehow, in no small part thanks to my father, I've always considered responsibility and being happy to be contradictory. In order to be truly content, we need connection. To a person, to a cause, to anything. If you never find that, you'll never find yourself. Maybe. Maybe not. The fact is, though, that it... I don't know, that, that it feels like I owe this world to be right here, right now. And I like how that feels. That surprises me. No matter how all this ends, I will have no regrets. The same goes for our friendship. That's what I wanted to tell you. Despite all the trouble we got ourselves into, I'm glad that our paths crossed. Thanks. But anyway, enough of this sentimental babble for now. You should probably rest a little. Who knows what awaits us up there. Point of view, isn't it? I really wish the war and the hunger were casting shadows over all of this. This world can be so beautiful. Well, look who's here. How are you? Yes, excited. I guess I feel the same. Well, did you want something in particular, or are you just looking for some company? <laughs> You're right. But on the other hand, do you have to be a mummy in order to dedicate yourself to archaeology? The Starlings. I have been fascinated by them since I was a child. You must know, their technology is so powerful that if they wanted to, they could probably conquer the entire civilized world with it. But they don't. And why? Because they all share the same dream instead. Exactly. A place without war or hunger, where all are born equal and enjoy the same rights, regardless of their standing in society. And for some reason, this thought has fascinated me as much as the Starlings themselves do. Call it a fantasy, but if there is such a place, if it really is like the old legends, we'd be able to learn so much from the ancient fathers. And, well, there it is, the answer to your question. I suppose that this naive hope is the reason for my interest in the Star People's culture. Well, that is a good question. Anyway, let us continue our conversation at a later time, shall we? I want to enjoy the night sky. Who knows how many more chances we will have. Yes? What do you want? <laughs> yes. Yes, he had his doubts too. Yet, do not admire him, but rather those who came up with the schematics for this ship. Every single piece of Gertrude is based on the research of hundreds, maybe thousands, of brave, starving researchers. so I used the chance to take a look around. The thought that Kermine did this all by himself, it's incredible. It would take dozens of Andrelian craftsmen at least five years to do this. So, are you ready? Good. So, are you ready?
Jeremiah told me about this place. This sphere is what keeps us in the air, and it draws its energy from the water. Crystal water, that's what he called it. I just had to see it for myself. It's beautiful, don't you think? I absolutely agree. You... He just can't believe it! No! He just can't believe it! Oh, damn. No, quickly, run! Vertical, didn't you understand? He thinks his instructions were clear. Stay here. Do nothing. But no. You decide to run around the ship and open whatever door crosses your path. And no. Don't look at him like that. Next time, there will be consequences. Yes. <laughs> I... Oh, by the name of the sun, I just can't believe it. Here we are, on a mission to save mankind, and instead of sharpening our weapons and talking gloomily, we play hide and seek. That's just bizarre, isn't it? No, it hasn't. Uh, anyway, I guess we're safe down here, at least for a while. And actually, I don't mind. This place, it makes me feel... serene. Let's you forget why we're here. Do I? In a good or bad way? Not just for you. You know, Saira, I've been thinking about what happened in the castle and the talk we had after that. Well, do you remember when I said that I should maybe just give up and accept that I'll never be able to fully control that thing inside me? And that with just enough tenacity, I could make sure it would never happen again? At first I was grateful, but then I thought about it and realized that there was actually some truth in what I had said. You know, all my life, I've tried to kill that part of me, because it made me feel despicable. But that was the wrong way to look at it from the very start. And I can't and won't do that. Not now, when there's so much at stake, nor in the future if there is one. No, I won't let it harm anyone ever again. But I'll accept that it's a part of me. You know, Sagira, what will self-loathing ever do? I've been dealt a tough hand, and with that thing and these urges inside of me, I'll never be like the others. I think that's the best, maybe the only way to deal with something like this. Accept it, as despicable as it may be, because it is part of who you are. Do you understand what I mean? I'm not deluding myself. Living with this thing will be something I have to wrestle with for the rest of my life. There will always be moments of weakness when it will try to get the best of me. 
but I will always resist. And I will do so without condemning myself every time it happens. And in the meantime, I will live. Even if the latter would be a rather amusing sight. Yes. And that. You are, if you want to be. That... that really means a lot to me, Saira. You know, I'm not sure I could've... Ugh, why am I still talking? Hey, sorry I didn't wake you earlier. You seemed... exhausted. I guess so. I heard talking coming from upstairs, and I think it could be time to go back to the others. What do you say? <sighs> Good, I suppose. But truth be told, I'm also afraid. You know, to make a mistake. All of this, it's new to me, and it... I don't know. First, we have to put an end to the cycle. Ugh, I can't imagine that this Quarak will just set sail and go back to Nerim once we've destroyed his vision of a higher existence for mankind. But let's be honest, Saira. We can't win. Not against Nerim. Mm, I don't know if I could do that, Saira. For now, I'd say that we should focus on getting rid of the High Ones first. Do you want to go upstairs now? The others will- good. I'd recommend a little clothing first, though. I don't think the others would like this look as much as I do. Probably just haven't seen us yet. The clouds, that's it. Or the city's deserted. Looks like it to me. Nonsense! Now quiet! He needs to concentrate! Now, if it isn't our missing friends, it's good to see people finding common ground. Magistra, I... <laughs> no reason to be ashamed, Keeper. There was a time when I was young, too, believe it or not. <laughs> we came across the first of these floating buildings about three hours ago. The Valley of a Thousand Clouds. That's what the Starlings called it. But as you've noticed, it's a little too... well... quiet. No, not at all. But who knows? Maybe it's as the Starling says, and we'll be surprised. 
He was at first, yes. But he's grown more distant the closer we've gotten. Let's just hope for the best. Correct. <sighs> By Malthus, it's a pity we don't have the time to explore this place more thoroughly. Just imagine how much history is hidden in each one of these stones. Maybe we can come back here one day, once we've stopped the cleansing. Well, first of all, let us take a look at it up close. <sighs> hmm. Still, no one. That must mean something, right? He will find them. He will find them, and they will hey, listen. Wait. Maybe the ancient fathers of the Starlings don't exist after all? Let's not jump to conclusions, shall we? Somebody must have built this place, and somehow the maps which led us here have ended up in the hands of the Starlings. Ancient fathers or not, whoever was capable of creating something like this must also have known things. Let's just wait and see. Father Uruli! Father Yotanax! Father Rajimon! He is here, and he has found you, just as your prophecy foretold. Now open the gates! Oh my, I sense drama. By the stars! Why do you punish him with silence? He found you! He fulfilled your prophecy! So let him inside! No! No, 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 no! This isn't happening! This... This isn't happening! Kumai. Yes. Yes, he is here. He is sorry, Magistra. It was a mistake to come here. This place is dead, and the ancient fathers died with it. Very poetic, pal, but now you're overdoing it. Who says they're dead? Maybe your ancient fathers just... Mm, left. For someplace else. Yes. I'm sure they did. Look, I am sorry this place isn't what you had hoped it would be. I really am. But Dalveric is right. You shouldn't jump to conclusions. And despair won't help you either. We should inspect this place before deciding anything. Don't you agree? The only question is, how to get inside? Hmm. We could try breaking this gate open. Splendid idea, boy. Do you have a battering ram with you? Myrid-sized, preferably? <sighs> this place must have a side entrance. Kermai? Yes, probably. Well, then let's go look for it. We split up. Dalveric. I suggest you accompany Kermai and take a closer look at the area around the docks. Legion and I will examine the eastern part of the city. And you? You and Sister Sakarish scout the west. If anyone finds anything, call the rest of the group before doing anything else. Now off you go.
Oh, hey. Well, I'd say that went differently than expected. But Poor I'll try man. To aside. Let's just hope the architects of this place, this place didn't take their knowledge with them to the grave. And I can't complain about the company. Come on, you go ahead. We really found... I can't believe it. We really found it. I can't believe it. Saira, over here. That looks like a side entrance to me. Maybe it leads to the main tower, too. Come, let us go get the others. Good. That looks exactly like what we needed. Anything we should know about the interior, Kermai? Traps? No. Hmm. Well then. Liam and Delveric, you stay and guard the ship. If we haven't returned, or if you haven't heard from us within 12 hours, you're to take the ship back to Ark. Understood? Uh, understood. Then let's be off.